Good morning and happy Sunday. We're going to explore a really wonderful setting of Psalm 8. This is a composition by uh, an American poet, uh, composer, Dan Forrest, and it's, it's a really wonderful work. How do you set a text oriented toward the idea of creation? Well, I think Dan Forrest does a great job of this. If when you listen to this piece, you hear a lot of confusion and a lot of misdirection in terms of coming to a, a central melody or tonality. It's because, well, that's sort of what creation started with. And uh, he does a wonderful job of finally coming to a uh, consensus in terms of the tonality and melody of the piece. And then it's a really glorious celebration of creation. Uh, the text, just in case you need to be reminded, O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens. And it goes on to talk about considering the heavens, the work of the uh, Lord's fingers, the moon and the stars that he has ordained. It's a really wonderful picturesque text. And I think Forrest does a great job with it. Um, it's especially wonderful in that the setting is somewhat macaronic, which means that there are two languages operating at the same time. Uh, we uh, get the text Adonai Adonai, which of course is the Hebrew uh, translation of O Lord, Our Lord. And so uh, I think you're really gonna enjoy this beautiful setting of Dan Forrest's Psalm 8. Enjoy. <laughs> 